Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Singer Dag Reacts. My name is Josh, and I'm here to do a pentatonics reaction for all of you fellow pentaholics out there. Um, sorry I've been away for so long and haven't done any pentatonics reactions for a while. I know they do have a lot of new stuff that I haven't watched, and I need to do some definite catching up. Um, so this is one that actually caught my eye, uh, The Prayer, because I love the song. Um, as some of you may know, so my wife and I performed The Prayer um, at her choir concert when she was the choir director at our, our local high school. So um, it's it's one of my favorite songs. I love the, the message behind it and um, the harmonies and, and uh, all of that. I, it's just it's a beautiful song. So I'm looking forward to reacting to their version. They they always do an incredible job with the covers that they do. So I have no doubt that it will be amazing. Um, and as I normally do with my channel, if you're new here, uh, what I do is I, I go through and I read through the lyrics and I talk about what the meaning could be of uh, the message and the story that they're telling and uh, of the song. And just kind of to, to get a better understanding of um, the power behind the message and and to bring more to the performance and to my um, analysis and understanding of of what's being communicated in the performance so if you're not into that and I do put chapters on my YouTube videos so that for those that are not interested in that they can skip ahead um, so the people that are always like why didn't you start to the reaction until you know so far into the video they just need to pay attention to and know that there are sections within the YouTube video so they can skip ahead directly to the start of the reaction. So without having to watch that. So if that's you, then please feel free to skip ahead. And So let's jump right in with the lyrics here. Uh, the Prayer, songwriters David Foster and Carol Bayer Sager. Uh, and David Foster is one of my favorite producers and He's amazing at finding talent, at cultivating talent, at writing songs, um, and, and as a musician as well. He actually performs quite a bit with a lot of his artists, with Celine and, and Andrea Bocelli, who's one of my favorite singers in the world, um, Josh Groban. So, yeah, he's, he's awesome. Here are the lyrics. I pray you'll be our eyes and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be our prayer when we lose our way. Lead us to a place, guide us with your grace, to a place where we'll be safe. La lucha que tu hay, I pray we'll find your light. Nel cuore restera, and hold it in our hearts. A recordar que, when stars go out each night. La terna stella se, o nella mia preghiera. Let this be our prayer. Quanta ferete, when shadows fill our days. Lead us to a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. A world where pain and sorrow will be ended, and every heart that's broken will be mended. And we'll remember we are all God's children, reaching out to touch and reaching to the sky. I think that's a new verse that uh, is for this performance, I believe. We ask that life be kind and watch us from above. We hope each soul will find another soul to love. Let this be our prayer, just like every child needs to find a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. Needs to find a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. Yeah, so the words are just pretty straightforward but they're just very touching and it's all about some of the things that I talk about on my channel right having hope um, loving others and help that we'll be kind um, that we'll remember that we're all God's children these are important messages that we all need to take into consideration in our daily lives as we interact with others and as we deal with challenges or individuals that may rub us the wrong way or, or whatever, we need to remember to be kind and um, understand that others may be going through hard times and, and 
the things that they've gone through may have affected them a certain way and caused them to uh, become a certain way or act a certain way. So we need to understand that and, and be kind and forgiving and look for the best in others. Um, give us faith so we'll be saved. Faith is all about just believing and hoping for better things that will come, uh, even though we, we may not know and may not have seen proof that that will happen. So obviously in the, in the religious sense, uh, faith deals with having faith in a higher power that we can't see, but we can feel and, and know for ourselves through the experiences that we have that that higher power exists and uh, we're, we're blessed by it. Um, lead us to a place, guide us with your grace. Help us to be wise. So I would end with, with that as far as the lyric section that we need to be wise. Um, and we need to have a prayer in our hearts when we lose our way. Um, that we'll be seeking for happiness and seeking to do the right things in our lives and to make each day better than the last and to improve on our mistakes and our weaknesses each day. And that's my takeaway from the lyrics of this song. Uh, and again, if you're interested in kind of seeing um, me and my wife's performance, it's out on my channel. I have, a, I have playlists on my channel. I always forget to mention this. So all the artists have their own playlist. Once I do uh, more than one reaction of an artist, I create a playlist on my channel. So you can go, if you have a favorite artist that you like to see my reactions for, like Pentatonix, you can go to that playlist and then see all of my Pentatonix reactions. So I always put a link to that in the description as well, so you can just click directly on it and go to that. But So like my performances and the things that I've done and posted to the channel is on my, I think it's called the Solo Performances Playlist. So if you go to that, you can see some of the other, including this song uh, of my performances, if you're interested in that. But the other thing is, um, I think only about 10 to 15% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you do like my reactions and you've been supportive and you continue to come back and enjoy what I have to offer, then you could please subscribe, click on the little notifications bell there and uh, show your support. I really appreciate that. I welcome any of your comments, of course, on other Pentatonix performances that um, you'd like me to react to. I've I've seen a lot of their really popular ones, like Hallelujah and um, Imagine, Bohemian Rhapsody, Say Something, um, and there's several others out on my channel that you can see that I've reacted to as well. Um, a Mad Mad World is one that I've reacted to. So... Take a look at what I've reacted to on my channel and, and those that I've just listed. Um, and if there are some that I that are not in that group, please definitely let me know uh, and give that recommendation in your comments. And I'll be sure to include that in my list of those I react to for Pentatonix. Thanks again. They do really interesting things with all of their arrangements and the, the harmonies and the ways that they do with the way they have. They had almost kind of an echoing effect that went on there do, 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 with some of the stuff they were doing in the, the background there. It was really neat. And their harmonies are always just impeccably tight. Um, part of what I think I may have mentioned once or twice about pentatonics that's always impressed me is their musicianship and i'm one of the original fans so i i actually watched pentatonix on the, the sing-off so i saw them when they competed on the sing-off and 
uh, from their early beginnings. Um, and so I've been a fan for a long time. In fact, one of the reasons that I started this channel was I used to, one of my favorite things to do was I would go and watch reactors discover pentatonics. And that was one of the things I love to do is to see people kind of discover them for the first time. And, and that's where I kind of started thinking, well, you know, I'm, I'm a classically trained vocalist. I should be able to, to go out and, and um, do some reactions as well and, and maybe try this out. And so that's kind of what spurred the thought. And, and so my first reaction on this channel actually was a pentatonics reaction to the song Home, if you go back all the way. So, yeah, I love them. They're amazing. Uh, Mitch's little solo here at the beginning is, is as usual, just really beautiful. And his voice is just amazing. He, he's got one of those rare voices where he just has a naturally high timbre and he's able to really just stay so pure and it makes it look so effortless, a lot of the stuff that he does. Um, yeah, so great start. Love it. They are amazing. Let me go back a little bit. I always like to kind of go back a little bit when I pause it to make sure I don't miss anything there. And they're starting off here with Kevin singing, who's whose voice is amazing. If you haven't heard many songs where Kevin sings, you need to check those out. Like Imagine is one of my favorites uh, with Kevin, where he just skies, he goes super high, and uh, he sings quite a bit in that one. So um, check that one out, Amazing Grace. I think he has a little part in there as well. And of course, Mary, did you know? Um, you in times when we don't know Yeah, they, this arrangement is really neat. It's different. I've heard several different versions of this song, um, including, like, of course, Andrea and Celine, and then I think it was Josh Groban, and I want to say Charlotte Church. No, it was Kelly Clarkson, maybe. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I've heard multiple versions of it. This one is unique. Uh, to any of them I've heard, as far as kind of this, do, 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 you know, the stuff they have going on that kind of adds this kind of um, almost kind of lullaby-esque um, rhythm and, and feel to it. I know that I don't want to cut Scott off from what he's about to do here, so I'm going to go back a little bit here. Take it to God. Yeah. Hear Kevin doing more of the beatboxing. they did there so they did kind of like a little little riff there at the end with uh, those ending notes kind of gave it like this different feel they always have their own little pieces that they add to the songs that they do that kind of make them unique um, and you start to kind of recognize some of those where there's moments where they're building to something and you can, so you can kind of start to hear that um, you kind of learn to, to hear different things that are kind of the pentatonicisms um, that they add in, which are unique and amazing here. Let's go back a little bit. 
Italian is pretty good. Lead us to a place. Nice. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. You're Matt rounding it out there. It's nice. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Um, they're just they're so good. They just do some amazing things with their arrangements, and that is not easy. What they what they do, what they're able to sing, um, and also the arrangements that they make. Those two aspects are not easy i mean i've been in acapella groups small and large and so i've sung some of this you know similar stuff uh, but not at this level i mean to sing some of the songs that they do at the level that they do that takes hours and hours and hours of practice and an incredible amount of musicianship as far as and when i say musicianship if if you don't understand what i'm talking about it means um, not just hitting the notes, but also, but also the rhythms and, you know, staying in sync with each other, staying on pitch, which is, uh, always something you constantly work on, um, in acapella music, um, because you don't have some instrument in the background to kind of help you stay on pitch. Um, and so you all have to stay on pitch together. Not only that, but you have to all the moving parts that makes it even more difficult and then you know some are moving and others are not and then you're moving together and so you have to kind of come together on the parts where you're moving together and you know all the transitions if you have modulations or key changes all the different aspects of what they do are are difficult and um, they always add something extra to their covers and and the performances that they give so this this one I definitely loved it. Um, it's not my favorite pentatonic song that I've that I've ever heard. Uh, it's not quite to that level of like say Hallelujah or one of those, but it's it's amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, 
And I have to say on this one, I, I have to give a shout out to Scott. They all are amazing. They all did incredible jobs. But I think I was really impressed by Scott and what he did here. Not only the Italian um, and how well he spoke that during his part, but also some of the harmonies and the notes. And he, he really went high on this one. I know he's got a really good range. And he's sung some low stuff as well. He's covered for the bass part a lot of times. But he was up there on some of these harmonies and um, during different parts of this song. So, yeah, I was really impressed by that. Um, anyway, so I loved it. Uh, I can never get enough pentatonics, and I feel like I've been neglecting them here on my channel. So I'm going to try to get back to them and also voice play and home free. And I don't think I've done a reaction to Voctiv. Um, so I, I want to I want to do some reactions to Voctiv as well. They're uh, they're an amazing group, uh, acapella group, and they're more kind of a choral style, um, and less of kind of the pop style of what Pentatonix brings. But they have some of the most amazing voices and musicians in that group. If you haven't heard any of their stuff, you need to go check them out. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Sorry, I haven't had many reactions lately. We've got a lot going on here with uh, my family and different things. Uh, my son's getting married here next month, and so we've had a lot going on. Um, but anyway, thank you all for your patience and for your support of my channel. I always appreciate your positive comments and um, all of your support. And I want to end my reaction the same way I do with all my reactions, and that is to say that you are loved. You are special and you can accomplish your dreams. And I think we all need to hear that at different points in our lives. And I hope that these words are able to help someone out there that's watching at this point or at some point later on down the road that is in need of hearing those words because I've needed those words in my life as well. And, uh, we all need to feel that support and love and I hope that each of you have that in your lives and I hope that you can find some of that here with our channel and um, with the music that we uh, appreciate and experience together. So thank you for your support and take care. Mm -hmm.